Hello, 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 welcome, welcome to a brand new Let's Play series in uh, Kaiserreich. Uh, today we're doing Canada, we're going to be doing the the Red World Challenge. Which is, we did this a few months ago, I don't know if I actually called it Red World, it might have been like Red Dawn or something like that. But if you remember a few months ago, we did a challenge run where we played at Germany, we made sure every single country went as socialist as possible. And then we tried to win the Civil, uh, we tried to win the Second Vill Creek. We did win as Germany. Then we tried it another time where we played as the Commune of France, where we made everybody join the Reich's Pact, and we lost. Because we also made sure Britain and Italy were not in our faction at all, so it was really just us against all of Europe. Didn't work so well. This time we're going to be doing it as Canada, which has significantly less chances of working than uh, as Germany, but by God we'll try. So enter into the custom game rules, we'll load our preset. It's, say, Germany versus Socialism, but this is it's essentially the same thing. Again, you can come down here. You're going to see everybody is going to go as Socialist as possible. I don't know if I can set you... Okay, I can't set you to join um, the Socialist. But, hopefully we'll be able to, to win. If you remember when we did Germany, I made a little rule for myself as well that we weren't going to aid in any of the Civil Wars that would be fired due to our... Um, Due to the events that lead to the socials coming to power. I'm going to make one exception to that for our Canada run. Because against Canada, we kind of suck. We're like 10% as powerful as Germany, I take a guess and say. That comes down to the American Civil War. Because if you remember as Germany, we did have Austria as an ally. So basically it's me and Austria against all of Europe. This time... I mean, we'll still have Germany as an ally because you can make them go socialist and they will always go to war with the Internationale. We are going to intervene in the American Civil War. We're going to join the United States and try to kill the CSA. That is going to be very important for us. Either we win that or we end up losing a run very early on. We'll see. So again, as Canada, we have 43 factories, 12, 7, 24. Um, how many divisions do we start off with? 18. What's very important, though... We have 158 boats. That is going to be super, super important. Because I think we have to very quickly early on kill the British. As as early as possible. And then we have a handful of, of planes. So that's not a big concern. But again, our, our main primary motivation right now is going to be to, as quickly as possible, defeat the CSA. That's it. That's our main goal. And if you, um, and the way that the Civil War is going to be breaking out, it's going to be a two-sided Civil War between the CSA, we're not going to read any events though, um, was between the CSA and the American government. However, this is in the route where the federal government assassinates Huey Long, which gives the federal government a massive debuff and gives the CSA a massive buff. So it's not going to be like the regular CSA, this is going to be a, a, a buffed up CSA. But again, I, I think we should be okay for that. By the way, five divisions on you. You're garbage. Our units that we get to begin with are also, like, bad. Oh, they're awful. They're so terrible. Okay, give me my army navy experience. We'll turn this off, turn you off. Give me a factory. Thank you. Research to begin with. We'll go with all of our basics. Research. Construction. We'll also go for 1918 support weapons as well. Civilian factory. We need to militarize the hell of our country as quickly as possible. Steel. We'll get that from the US. Rubber. We'll get from the Dutch East Indies. And we should be okay. Dockyards. What are we going to build? Of course... We're going to build the cheapest submarines possible and build a ton of them. And there we go. A quick little starter for us. Of course, we are still going to have our other allies in the Entente. Because the Entente, as a faction, sucks. <laughs> like, they are just not good. Okay, we're not going to worry about Transmere. Because French Republic, they're garbage, they're not going to do too much for us. The Dominion of India are going to get bogged down in a war in India, not going to do much. Australia is going to go syndicalist, South Africa is going to go syndicalist. Um, 
aside from West Indies Federation also, is going to go Syndicalist. So that's already, I think, half of the Entente members we have right now are going to just leave the faction. Also, I should change the stream title, because I think it still says we're playing as Sweden, which we're not. Also, we're not playing Bloodborne anymore, but that's that should be fine on... Uh... We're not playing Kingdom Hearts 4. Definitely not playing Kingdom Hearts 4. Okay, set this up. And then... Canada versus the world. There we go, save that up. Okay, Anglo-Afghan War Black Monday. And now we have a... Wonderful little Black Monday debuff, but it's actually not that bad. Okay, prepare a nation for war. It is... We are in a defensive war, so that's okay. Okay, stability goes down, war support, go, war support goes up. Okay, there's the Russian Civil War. Address the army. Bill 17 has passed. United Kingdom does not exist. Navy, we don't care about. Air Force, we don't care about. Let's get Bill C-17 as, uh, as quickly as possible. And it's also Bill C-7. You know, let's declare war on the Russian Republic. Yeah, so Russia's gonna go socialist. The nice thing about this, though, is that... Russia and the rest of the international are gonna create two separate factions. That gives us a little bit of a wiggle room. However, if Germany were to collapse, Russia and the regular international combine into a single faction, what essentially is going to make it impossible for us to win. So if we cannot win at least one of the two fronts prior to Germany getting killed, then we're basically out. We need to, we need to make sure Germany survives for as long as possible. That's not going to be easy. It's gonna be it's, it's gonna be very hard, <laughs> but I mean we'll try. Cause I mean cause you're gonna go socialist, Iceland. We actually can't guarantee they'll go socialist. They could. Either way, I know for a fact they're gonna go independent. But if they if they go independent, they could theoretically become a puppet or uh, yeah, could become a puppet of ours. Wait, no, they just joined the Entente. Either way, that's good, because that gives us a, a launching point. Which we are going to need. Yeah, Australasia's already gone, uh, socialist. So there's already one of our allies out of the fight. You know what would be funny? This is going to be funny. I want Afghanistan to win the war. Again, we're not going to... We might actually just get India out if you just give it straight to the Bahari Commune and Prince of Federation. But I want I want Afghanistan to win because it's funny. Um, aside from that... Okay, International Congress. Privy Council. Again, we want to do whatever just gives us the most... War support and whatever gives us the most military support. War support plus five. Stability plus five. Ooh, you're an eight percent stability boost. You are a thirteen percent war support boost and a small attack bonus. Oh, but you're also a recruit population. Let's get recruit population because Canada we don't have a lot of pops, and also more um, political power would also always be nice. So straight up to early mobilization. Get the Imperial Conference, state of the Senate, get the bill. After that, go straight down the Americans at war. That only becomes available next year at about April. Yes, Fate of the Senate, Bill C-7. Crown Corporation for... I mean, do any of you actually give me factories? 
No, yeah, we get Crown Corporations, Sherbrooke, Halifax. Yeah, I mean we do we do want these. We need we need factories. 40 factories is not going to cut it. I mean Germany right now has um I mean they, they already have like a hundred and they already have like 150. There we go. Boom, we won the stay in a club. And Austria. I don't actually remember what your path is, to be honest. We might see you unify, or we might see... Did I say the military occupation? I don't think I did. Okay, South Africa. You've gone socialist. Stability, and the king is a little bit more popular now. That's nice. Yeah, we do lose a little, little bit of political power, but... I'm sure if we didn't actually win the, the war against um, South Africa, it would just be worse for us. So now that we know who's kind of in our court, you know, now now that we know that... Wait, did you lose? Wait, how did Afghanistan lose the war? I don't, I don't know, actually. You know, most, most... Huh. I didn't see that coming. A Congress of 36. No. Only folks on Canada. The other Dominions, I'll tell you right now, are kind of falling by the wayside immediately. Okay, fate of the Senate next. Actually, this gets bypassed... Okay, British Indian Delegate speaks. We'll probably hear from the West in these federations soon. I don't remember when they go socialist. No, we'll not... We'll not gonna sponsor a coup in Australia. I think New Zealand will declare their independence. That typically is what happens. You also are going to kill Don Kubin like immediately, which is hilarious. Yeah, so let's prepare an invasion into the north of the CSA. So we can I want to intervene as quickly as possible. The less delay there is between us invading uh, the CSA, the better. Okay, yeah. New Zealand's declared their independence. We're not going to intervene at all. Yeah, we're, we're not going to get involved. And then you should end up winning your war soon. Edinburgh will fall very, very soon for, this, for uh, the Russians here. Oh, so we have negative 56 political power. I mean, not good. Don't get me wrong. Also, you are way too expensive. Let's uh, switch you here. Put you in a 37 tech. I mean, we are kind of failing all of our previous Dominions, but that's okay. The Dominions will fall. Not much we can do about it. We have 17 divisions. India. Actually, I am going to partition India. Just because it's going to get our allies dragged into another war. I guess let's do, like, this to you, and then this to the south. There we go, that's something. Okay, Don Kuhn's fallen to the Russians. Okay, again, we've, we've kind of looked through our allies. Who is going to be guaranteed to stay loyal to Germany? I think there is... Like, two choices. Or two, two, um... I don't know, there's more than two. Middle Africa. No, did I set them to automatically collapse? I don't actually remember if that was an option. But we have Middle Africa. Morocco. Germany's Asia. And Riga when the Baltic Duchy collapses. 
That is who Germany is going to have in their court. When the war breaks out. I guess they'll also have two Sicilies as well. Um, they'll join the right fact, but... It shouldn't be a big deal. Austria will join on day one. Because Poland and Ukraine are going to go socialist. That's one of the trigger events for Austria to join the Wildkrieg. So on day one, Germany will have Austrian backing. So, based on that... Germany should at least have a chance of survival. Or at least a little while. Okay, Baltic Dutch is collapsing and Riga does stay in the Reich's Pact. I'm not surprised how big the Regan uh, focus tree is. A little wild to me. Okay, you're less popular. The election needs to happen for you, so I guess we'll address the army next. This preparation for war gives us coastal forts. You're kind of garbage. I mean, we could declare war immediately on the com on the British, but that seems like it'll be a mistake. I mean, I don't, I don't care who wins the election. Actually, or do we? Wait, 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 wait. Quebec. You matter for this. Stability of 5%. You're also a negative 200 political power. Daily pull. How much is the tension costing us right now? 0 0.3. So that's about basically 0 0.2 political power per day. And 10% stability. We can replace the Quack Premier and also get stability and a little bit 0 0.1 on you. In the War Measures Act, political power plus 100. The Tories, the British Excel is very high. If I remember correctly, you're actually like pretty bad. Fresh and French Canadians, the Montreal Conference. You know what? We'll do the Montreal Conference just because I think last time we we did the, I think I think we did the suppressive Quebecois. So we'll we'll go um, we'll go with a more neutral route. Okay, Revolutionary Take Mongolia, Finland, of course, is now socialist as well. Somehow the Russian Republic is still kicking. I think it's so they haven't lost Etchenberg yet. But once that falls, it's basically game over for them. What about you, Transmere? Old Shacks died. That's okay. Technology, let's go for construction too. Apparently, apparently they're just like me. They, they cannot take Etzernberg for the life of them. The Civil War here will be over very, very soon. And our elections are in September? No, they're on October 36th. Here we go. The French Republic trying to help with the Russian Republic. Not going to work out so well for them, I'd, I'd have to imagine. Yeah, because you're already socialist. White Ruthenny will immediately flip to this to um to socialist once the second Valkyrie begins. It'll just take them a little while. Okay. We got Veneer or Fueler. Division attack plus 5% or you know what 10% organization? We'll go for it. Let's give me superior firepower. Can't do you yet. What do I what do I want out of you? Support weapons. Another 10% organization boost. Or cheaper tanks. I mean, I think we gotta go for the veneer plan to be honest, but first we'll go for the Cran Corporations, because they usually are pretty good. Give us free factories. Well not free, we have to pay political power and whatnot for them. We get some good stuff out of them. Okay, so you've taken one province here. And you don't create... I don't remember when you actually create the Eastern Front of the Third International. I know Finland, Ukraine, Poland, and everybody on this side of the map... Or everybody on this side of Germany should join um, the Eastern Front. Sweden and Norway join the Western Front. And then, of course, Denmark's going to get involved. I honestly... I don't have high hopes for Germany. 
I think the German AI is going to very quickly fall apart. And that's worrying, for sure. Is your election 37? Landers Wallonia, I think your coup is in September-ish, if I'm remembering correctly. Because, again, we did do the Belgian run in the past. Oh, my boats are still here. Yeah, bring you, bring you back home. And at some point, you two will go to war. I don't know when that'll be, but it's not a big deal. In fact, you know what? It'll be more fun and even harder for us if we don't if we just give all this to the Bahari Commune. Boom, there we go. I mean, it makes it easier for them, but... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's another point to add to the international. So now, technically, we've unified India. Okay. And then they can join the international after that. So... I said, do they join the international, or do you think they join the Eastern Front of the international? I don't know. I don't think it's going to make a big deal one way or the other. But, you know, we'll see. Okay, Ireland. Ireland joined the Reich's Pact. I mean, I know sometimes... Like, I, I know sometimes the forcing the country to do certain events does...